olive oil, it's the magic in the kitchen. We go through 12 liters in a week and a half. A little drizzle here, a big drizzle there, and you've got yourself a tasty little dish, which is why some chefs say it's their best kept secret. I'm not gonna go into specifically and disclose what we actually use. So be careful what you say about this treasured oil because the wrong words could lead to a lawsuit. Just ask Dr. Oz. Domestic US made olive oil, which is very high quality. Yes. It's all made in California, right, pretty much? Yeah, so 99% of olive oil in the U.S. is made in California. Dr. Oz has come under fire for a segment in May titled, Is Your Olive Oil Fake? The North American Olive Oil Association says Oz spread malicious false claims, noting that his olive oil expert worked for a, an olive oil seller in California. As a result, the North American Olive Oil Association says its credibility was damaged. Aren't they based in, in Neptune? Neptune, New Jersey. Neptune um, of all places. Olive oil capital of the Northeast. Now, the Dr. Oz show says it aggressively plans to defend its segment. It also pointed to numerous other uh, news organizations that have reported on this. They told me that uh, it's been reported in 60 Minutes, the New York Times, and Time Magazine. Uh, so we'll keep you updated on what happens next. But I needed to learn more. What is this talk of olive oil fraud? And uh, does it exist? So, I went to our favorite chef, Tony DiNapoli of DiNapoli oh, the Restaurant. Meatballs. Oh my you god. You beat me to it. The meatballs are so good. Sorry. I <laughs> He's based in Lamberville, and as you just said, I, I heard he had some pretty good meatballs. I've always been, uh, you get what you pay for, and um, I've always been an advocate of uh, extra virgin olive oil. But I think there's a heightened uh, awareness that th there could be some issues out there. What do they mean by the fraud, though? Like that it's just not uh, like top grade olives, or like? Uh... Well, it's not coming from the origin where they're stating. Okay. Okay. So they could say they're getting 100% uh, uh, first pressed virgin olive oil, uh, but is that uh, is that coming? And it's saying it's coming from Italy, but is it coming from Italy? Mm -hmm. You know, it could be coming from Spain. It could be coming from Greece. I mean, olive oil is great on a salad, but why all this snobbery? Why not just throw some ranch sauce and call it a day? Stop it, stop it, Sabil. Olive oil is arguably the most critical ingredient in the kitchen. We're not in Italy, well, we're in America. Why. We're good. That is why you need to have... I, wait a minute, wait a minute, I've gotta go back. So even my pulled pork that I make, I cover it in olive oil, like that's how it cooks. Like the whole thing, olive oil is the base of almost anything, unless I'm using bacon Did you fat. try ranch? Well, stop, like a ranch, oh. Oh, like I want to dip some bread. God, I'm so hungry. Your Why don't you bring snob. bread? Your food snob. Can we get food? Maybe. I'm so hungry. <laughs> All right, thank you, Diana.